All right, it'll hopefully speed up short sales. Right now, short sales can take months to complete. Right. Well, Troy, it'll hopefully speed up short sales. Right now, short sales can take months to complete. Right now, lawmakers are considering a bill that in one aspect of this law could actually require real realtors to go back to class to learn how to deal with short sales. Today, more than 13,000 homeowners are trying to short sell their single family home. Some of them have sat on the market a long time. Um, I've got a family that's been living in their home for over a year now uh, and haven't made a payment on their home waiting for an answer on the short sale. Brent Kastanowski got into real estate during the boom. I never did I dream I'd be talking to banks on a day in and day out basis. Now he's got a few dozen short sales under his belt and knows they aren't easy. It can take months to close a deal. We've never had a, a volume of uh, short sales like we're seeing today. State Treasurer Dean Martin has created a short sale task force that is recommending realtors take 15 hours worth of short sale classes so they know the process. The financial institutions are so overwhelmed with short sale requests that if you don't have every I dot and T cross to get set aside so we can get back to it. Martin says that the Valley has a huge inventory of homes and until many of them are sold, our economy won't recover. Till we sell all that excess supply, till we bring supply and demand back into balance, we're going to continue to see prices drop. Short sales are a way to avoid the foreclosure. Foreclosures drive prices down more than anything. But anyone who's ever dealt with a short sale knows the banks can be a nightmare. The banks uh, being understaffed, poorly trained to handle short sale situations, uh, it causes a nightmare for you know, basically not only the homeowner, but the person who wants to buy the home as well, too. Dean Martin tells us that in April, the federal government will be coming out with some more guidelines for dealing with short sales, Troy, and that will hopefully streamline the process so that they won't take as long. It'll definitely help. So is the hope, Andrew, that you know uh, some of these homes will be snatched up and the, the bottom will be reached and start rising again, or that homes will be filled in some of these neighborhoods where they're empty? Well, the goal, Troy, is to get them off the market as soon as possible and to avoid the home going into foreclosure. Once it goes into foreclosure, as the treasurer said, the price drops dramatically. So if you get it at a short sale, you might be able to pay a price that is a little bit closer to uh, you know market value as opposed right. to a foreclosure, which, as we all know, devastates neighborhoods. Sure, it brings the price of everybody's home down, and everybody's stuck and even more underwater. Thanks a lot, Andrew.